So let's derive an expression for the work done in an adiabatic process. For that, let us consider a beaker with a frictionless piston attached to it. Let this be the piston and this be the gas. Let the final position of the piston after expansion be this, this position. That is, this be the final position of the piston. This is the initial position and this is the final position. Let the distance covered by the vertical distance covered by the piston be dx. Then from the basic formula of work done, we have work done dw is equal to force into displacement. But you know force is equal to force is equal to pressure into area, where A is the cross-sectional area of the piston into dx. Force is equal to pressure into area. This term A into dx will be area base area into height is the volume. Volume d. Therefore, dw is equal to p into d, where dv is the volume. Volume. Volume of expanded gas. Let's just call that as volume. Now let's call this as equation one. So in order to get the total work, you must integrate the equation one. That is integral p d v from the initial volume v1 to final volume v2 where v1 is the initial volume and v2 be the final volume and you know for an adiabatic process adiabatic process or adiabatic expansion we have the adiabatic relation between pressure and volume is pv raised to gamma equal to a constant where gamma is the specific heat capacity ratio so pv raised to gamma equal to a constant so p will be k by v raised to gamma or k v raised to minus gamma so that's the p you can substitute the value of p in the equation of work that is w is equal to integral v1 to v2 instead of p just write k v raised to minus gamma d this is equal to you can take the k outside since it is a constant k integral v1 to v2 v raised to minus gamma d now you can integrate v raised to minus gamma and its value will be w is equal to k into integral of x raised to n is equal to v raised to minus gamma plus 1 divided by minus gamma plus 1 within the limits v1 to v2. Therefore, w is equal to k into this can be written as v raised to 1 minus gamma by 1 minus gamma. Now, the lower limit and the upper limit. So, first you have to substitute the upper limit. Therefore, W is equal to K into, you can take this 1 minus gamma outside, 1 minus gamma. First you substitute the upper limit, V2, 1 minus gamma minus V1, 1 minus gamma. Clear. Therefore, W is equal to you can take the minus outside that is minus k so this will be reversed that is v1 1 minus gamma minus v2 1 minus gamma divided by divided by 1 minus gamma okay now you can use this minus in here so it will this this term will get reversed so final work will be W is equal to W is equal to K divided by this can be written as gamma minus 1 using this minus then V1 1 minus gamma minus V2 1 minus gamma 
let's call this as equation number two now let's look at the adiabatic relation between pressure and volume we have pv raised to gamma equal to a constant which means p1 v1 raised to gamma equal to p2 v2 raised to gamma this also is equal to k so you can write this w as w is equal to 1 by gamma minus 1 taking the k to the inside of the bracket that is k v1 raised to 1 minus gamma minus k v2 raised to 1 minus gamma so this k can be replaced with this one so w is equal to i'll write it here w is equal to 1 by gamma minus 1 replace this k with this one so p1 v1 gamma into v1 raised to 1 minus gamma 1 minus gamma minus in, for this k just to substitute this this equation that is p2 v2 raised to gamma into v2 raised to 1 minus gamma w is equal to 1 by gamma minus 1 into this is equal to p1 into v1 raised to this is equal to gamma plus 1 minus gamma combining these two minus p2 v2 gamma plus 1 minus gamma can cancel this gamma and this gamma here also it will get cancelled therefore w is equal to 1 by gamma minus 1 p1 v1 minus p2 v2 this is the work done in an adiabatic process clear also you can write this equation as you have from the ideal gas equation pv equal to nrt since n and r remains constant we have p1 v1 equal to nrt1 also p2 v2 is equal to nrt2 you can substitute the value of p1 and v1 in here therefore w is equal to 1 by gamma minus 1 into p1 v1 you can write nrt1 minus p2 v2 is nrt2 so w is equal to you can take this nr out nr by gamma minus 1 into t1 minus t2 this is also an expression for the work done in an adiabatic process clear